Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. Today I'm going to show you how to take those vintage oversized Levi's and turn them into the uber popular and uber expensive asymmetric crossover jeans that you all have been requesting. And if you're interested in this bonus jean upcycle tutorial and receiving all my bonus videos, definitely hit that join button below to become a member of Team Renegade. Okay, now I've seen these jeans done by two main companies. One is the uh, gold crisscross jeans, which retail for $178, and the other is the R13 crossover jeans, which retail for $425. And I've seen them in skirts and short versions as well. So today I have two pairs of vintage Levi's. One is a pair of 505s with a zipper fly in pretty darn good condition. The other are a pair of 501s with a five button fly, but they are pretty badly beaten up. So we'll use this pair to make a skirt. Now the key to this project is going to be having a dungaree button and a sewing needle specifically for jeans. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is put the jeans on and make sure you're okay with the amount of wrap that you'll have based on how much bigger the jeans are than your actual size. Then lay them flat and cut along the edge of the fly area cutting on the button side of the fly. You cut all the way down if you're making the skirt but I'll show you that in a minute. Once you have it cut, you can add the new button to the waistband. And I love these buttons because they're super easy to apply. I just took the back piece and pushed it through the waistband, then pressed on the front piece until it clipped. And they feel super strong. So now you can try them on and wrap them around until they fit. Then add a pin where the new button hole should go. And also pin down the fly area at the angle you want it to go. Okay, so now it's time to sew everything down. I'm using my jean needle as well as thread specifically for jeans. I'm starting my top stitch at the crotch and working my way back up to the waistband to make sure everything lines up properly. If your sewing machine has trouble going through some areas where there's a lot of layers to sew through, just try rolling the needle through manually and then continue sewing when you get to a spot that doesn't have so many layers and you can also switch to a zipper foot to get past that button lastly I'll use the zigzag stitch to make a new buttonhole I hate using the buttonhole foot when using heavy thread because it gets stuck sometimes but it's really easy for me just to do two tight zigzag stitches right next to each other and a wider zigzag stitch at each end I'll cut it open and now it's ready for the new button. And I'll show you another really cool upcycle to style these with at the end. Okay, so now let's do the skirt. For this one, you do it the same way, except when you cut it down the fly, you'll keep cutting along the flat fail seam, all the way down the inside leg seam. You'll also cut it along the flat fail seam in the back, overlay it on top of the other side and pin it down flat. Next, you'll try it on and wrap it to fit just like we did before. Add a pin for the new buttonhole and pin down the fly at the angle that seems right to you. Also overlap the crotch and pin that part down as well. Okay, so now I'm going to mark the length that I think I want for this skirt. And I always mark on fabric with a sliver of soap just because it's free and it washes off. Then I'm going to cut about an inch from that line, giving myself more length because I can always cut off more afterwards if it's too long. But once it's gone, I can't add it back. Then I'll add the new button and sew everything together just like before. And when I'm doing a top stitch like this, I always try to sew on top of an existing stitch to make it look as seamless as possible. All right, it's time to see the final results, but before we do, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a thing. Okay, so here are my $425 jeans that I paid maybe $10 total for, including the thrifted jeans, the jean needle and thread, and the dungaree buttons. And I think these jeans pair perfectly with this white off-shoulder bow blouse that I made using two men's dress shirts. And definitely click the link above to see that video. And these jeans could definitely be worn in so many ways. And the skirt as well. And I love how it turned out. I love the off-kilter hem with the asymmetric waistband. And hopefully my comments are back on. But if not, you can find me on Instagram or Facebook and let me know if this is a project that you try. And if you like to remake jeans, check out this video of my top 15 amazing jean upcycles. And you'll definitely want to watch that next. And you can thank me later. All right, see you in the next one. Bye.